you know, when people have counted us out uh, after the Oregon game, when they counted us out after the Hawaii game, they've shown resiliency and uh, sacrifice and uh, believing in each other. And, um, and those are the things that we talk about and preach. So, so proud. We've had uh, 16 practices. We just finished our last practice. Our seniors just had their senior hit, which is a Nevada tradition. They get their last hit on the last practice. And I'm really proud uh, of the way these guys have practiced. Uh, I came off the field um, on Tuesday, and we watched the film together. And, and I, got a, I, I came off that watching that film saying that was the best practice we've had at Nevada. And uh, I'm, I'm really proud of understanding our concepts, the way we've worked, and uh, our fundamentals. So um, with that, uh, if you have any questions, we'd be happy to answer for you. Coach, I, I know this isn't your senior class. I wonder what it has meant to, uh, to establishing the foundation that you wanted to build at this program and, and kind of how bittersweet it is to uh, have one last game with them. Well, it, it is my, my, my senior class. I'm, I mean, these guys are, are all my guys. I know I didn't recruit all of them, uh, but, you know, um, you know we, we have a special bond. Uh, you know, one of the things uh, I, I've really felt, and, and for no particular reason, you know, we, I show this thing called the spearhead, which is, uh, uh, you know, which is a flock of, of ducks flying together and flying in formation. And, and I, I just feel like we're closer than we ever have been as a team. And I just believe that. And, uh, but these guys are family to me. Um, you know, they stand for what we believe in. That's doing the right thing. That's working hard every day. Um, that's loving on your, your teammates and coaches uh, and sacrifice. And they've both been injured. They both are not 100% today. You know, I could probably, I might be able to catch one of them if, in a race today. But, but uh, they both, uh, they've really sacrificed. You know, we asked two questions about, about, you know, what can you do for the team and what are you willing to sacrifice for the team? And both of these guys have sacrificed a ton. Uh, spend a lot of time in the training room and and uh, doing it, whatever they can for their teammates. So I, I just appreciate the unselfishness, uh, the the sacrifice of these guys. I can't believe this game is finally here and all the hard work that we put into preparing for it. So, um, you know, a friend of mine uh, said to me yesterday, really hit home with me, uh, you know, our, our preparation is our separation. And that's kind of what we've devoted ourselves to and these bowl practices is, is trying to gain separation with our opponents. So love these guys. I love this senior class and, and love what they've meant to Nevada. Well, Coach, uh, not, this place hasn't been the kindest to you guys. 2-18, and 18, I look back. I haven't won here since 1997. Have you guys kind of talked about that? You know, because obviously Albertson Stadium and tough places play. Has that been on the mind with you guys at all? Not, or? absolutely not. Could care less, to be honest with you. Um, you know, we we do Wolfpack walk, whether we walk in a stadium or we walk on a, a high school field. I haven't spent one second talking about Otson Stadium. And and so I guess that answers that question. Coach, I noticed you wore the, the bowling shirt again the second year in a row. You talk about Nevada grit. How does this team fit into the Nevada grit philosophy that, that you brought, this particular team? Well, this is my work shirt. It's not a bowling shirt. It's a work shirt. Um, it's, uh, I, I, I've been wearing this shirt for three years. And so it's just a reminder to the team, um, you know, that, that we are blue collar at Nevada. That's what we do. We roll up our sleeves, we go to work. And it just reminds them every day at practice, we, we practice with a purpose. We practice with uh, intent. And, um, and that's what we do. And, and it's just a reminder to them. It's a reminder to me that, uh, you know, we practice for a reason. We practice to get work done, you know. And so um, we're preparing. We're not preparing to play a game. We're preparing to win a game. We're preparing to win. That's what we've done ever since we 
put these pads back on and we started getting ready for this game and we found out who our opponent was. So, um, and, you know, Al Gro told me uh, uh, a couple months ago, you know, uh, uh, a team is not mentally tough till it stops making excuses. So there's no excuse for us not to play good. I mean, we're, we, they set the date for this game. It's tomorrow. And uh, we signed on to play. And the team that's ready to play is going to win. And the team that does the things it's supposed to do wins. And the team that doesn't won't. That's just the way football is. And, and so I'm really excited. We've done, we've done the things we've needed to do to get ready for this game. And we're, we're excited to play it. This one's for the seniors, and I want to start with you, Kelton. What has just this program meant to you, and is it hard to believe these four years are just coming to an end? Uh, can you hear me? Oh, right, there we go. Uh, yeah, uh, it's very emotional right now. I can't even lie. I'm not an emotional person, but uh, out there on the field, just knowing that was my last my last college practice, you know, that was, that was pretty touching. You know, the last time being with these guys, these coaches, the staff, it's just been an honor to – to just be able to do this, experience this, it's been a blessing, honestly. Um, for me personally, uh, a guy coming from Tyler, Texas, the country, you know, I never really thought I would be in this situation to where I'm up here talking to you guys and, and all this stuff, you know. So it's it's been a great experience, um, and I'm going to miss it. I'm going I'm to I'm miss it and miss these guys, these coaches and everybody. Um, but... Just can't wait for it tomorrow and and just just show all the work that we've been putting in over these last couple of months. Same question to you, Lucas. Just what has this program meant to you? I know you're a local from northern Nevada, too, and to not only represent your hometown team, but uh, to go to, to battle with these guys for the last couple of years of your life. Yeah, Nevada was always the, the school, you know, I, that I went and saw the football games at. I wasn't living in SoCal, so I didn't go and see USC or anything like that, so... You know, I just looked up to the Nevada players, and now that I was able to, you know, walk on and then play at Nevada, um, it means a lot to me. Um, the community was always there um, for us. And then the senior class, too, it's it's funny because last year I thought was, you know, my last year, and that, that was a class I came in with, and I was a little nervous going into this year, you know, having that deep connection I had with them, but it wasn't any separation I mean they opened me opened up with open arms um, and likewise it was I had such a great time with this class they're a great great group of guys and um, I'm gonna miss everybody everybody with coaches and everybody sticking with the two seniors uh, how would you guys explain your senior years coach obviously talked a lot about the resiliency the adversity the losses that you guys had to endure the losses he had to endure I wonder how much that just molded into what this year has become and how it's brought you guys, as Coach said, closer than uh, than ever? Uh, this senior year, it's been, like Coach been saying, it's been, it's been uh, up and down, a lot of adversity uh, during this time. Uh, I know for me personally, uh, I had an ankle injury this whole, the whole season, you know, uh, and that was, that was that was tough. I was like, my senior year, I want to go out the right way. And of course, you know, some things don't go as you plan them. But uh, just as a for seeing the team and um, just watching them grow, honestly, uh, just being able to to be there and seeing players develop, it, it was better than me. To it's sad to say, but it was better than me playing, honestly, because the growth that that this team made during the over the year is is crazy, and we've grown together as a family, a brotherhood, and that bond is just it's just unbreakable. Yeah, to follow up with what Kelton said, um, I sat out, you know, the majority of the year with an ankle injury as well. Um, in those first few games, there was a f some games in there that were pretty tough, but it seemed like everybody was kind of buying in that like there's still a lot of opportunity and chance for this team. And um, no one was really too down on themselves. And we, we pushed hard. Um, and when I was out, I mean, we won a lot of big games. And uh, seeing everybody, you know, bond together um, was really special. And, um, yeah, I mean, it, it just the, the the closeness of the team, you know, when you sit back and take a step back, you can really see how, how the team starts to develop and the closeness of everybody. And it was it was really something special to see. I think, too, just to add to that, is, is this last 16 practices, we've seen our young guys really grow. 
and these guys have done a great job leading them. But we, our freshmen are not freshmen anymore. They're, they've really worked hard. They've really developed. And uh, it's like an extra month of spring practice, and uh, that's been so valuable to our program. And these guys get to, you know, plant trees that they never see. They, 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 they're, they watch these guys practice and how they prepare, and, and they learn, learn from that. And so that will just help our program continue to grow. Coach, kind of rolling with that, uh, the defense will have a new look, obviously. And can you tell us what you've seen from these last few practices as you as you get a new defensive look onto the field? I just see our kids uh, really practicing with great attention and great effort. And uh, uh, we've had so many guys show up and make plays um, and practice that I haven't seen make plays earlier in the year. And, and uh, it's a credit to our players, you know, Football every week is different. Every every game's a different challenge, and uh, you know I've always challenged our guys to be mature about that. And they have about this game. And and uh, and like I said, there's no there's no excuses to a, a ball game. I mean, we got a game to play, and we got to go play it. And and uh, we're we're prepared to do that. Um, and it it will look different. I mean, it ain't gonna be the same. And, and so, um, and what it looks like, it's yet to be seen, but, uh, we'll find out tomorrow. And, and, uh, but I think, uh, you know, we, we have a little different chemistry, obviously we have new coaches working with our defense, our, but I have to give credit to our seniors and our leadership, uh, that they understand that, that they have, they are players and players play coaches coach and, um, um, they're excited to ready to do their job and they've been they've been focused and and then in 2020 that's the hardest thing for coaches to do is get players focus and when you get when you get their attention boy um, you, you can really do some positive things and, and they've been incredibly attentive over the last three weeks and we've had some of our best practices since I've been in Nevada so um, I'm pretty excited about that question for both the seniors uh, with so much history between Boise and Nevada uh, what, what are your thoughts on your final collegiate game kind of taking place in the stadium is it is it kind of weird what are you guys' thoughts on that is this a Boise press conference <laughs> yeah I was, <laughs> I'm kind of going to touch on that uh, yeah no I did we're he playing read Ohio. the email wrong yeah <laughs> uh, we're playing Ohio um, and to me it's just another game um we, we're going to go out there and prepare to win each game. doesn't matter where we're playing, uh, who we're playing. We're always going to prepare to win. Uh, um, I mean, pretty much the same for me. Uh, coach always say it, what goes on in between the hashes, that's just just what goes on. So whoever plays the best gets the win. Uh, <laughs> If we could just start with Coach and go down the line, what do you think of this matchup? Obviously, you guys come in as underdogs. Ohio comes in uh, 11 straight bowl games. I think they won their first ever bowl game here. So you know what they're going to bring. I just wonder what you guys feel about this. No, it, um, no we're, we have a lot of respect for for Coach Solich. And, um, um, you know, he's one of the great coaches in college football. And the Ohio program, uh, they've had tons of success. Um, you know, very solid team, very similar to us this year where they've had to overcome adversity and and lost some close games and really working to uh, finish strong. And um, um, so there's a lot of parallels. I think it's a great matchup, contrasting styles of play. Um, you know, their quarterback has is, is been tremendous, great leader, uh, very efficient player. They got good backs, they got a good line, they get good receivers. Um, they do a good job defensively. Uh, so, you know, we're going to have to play our best, you know, and it's just like a lot of the games down the stretch the last month of the season, we got to outplay them. I mean, it's really that simple. Uh, um, we got we to gotta score points on offense. We got to play good, smart defense, and we got we to gotta get the edge in special teams. And um, But have tremendous respect. Uh, I've followed Coach Solich his whole career. Uh, he's roommates with my college, one of my college coaches, Barry Alvarez. So I feel like uh, at Nebraska. So I feel like I know him. Uh, I told him that the other night. I said, Coach, I feel like I know you, even though I don't really know you that well. And and uh, but no, just a, I think it's a great college matchup too. Contrast of conferences. I mean, we 
We have different styles of play in our, our conference. Uh, the MAC has different a uh, different style and brand of football in their conference. And so we're we're excited to represent the, the Mountain West Conference and uh uh you know and, and and go out and play our best brand of football. You know, I last time I checked I think the Mountain West was four and two in bowl games and and we wanna we wanna add to that and 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 play very well tomorrow. Uh, uh just uh same thing with coach was saying earlier, you know, a lot of people are are going going hard in practice every day. Uh, this last couple months, like I said, this last month, I mean, we haven't just stopped. We just progressively gotten better. So um, we, we're just excited to to get out there and play. It's been it's been a while. So and um, just as far as the uh, Ohio U, uh, they they're a good team. They're def defensively, um, they they fly around to the ball. You know, we gotta. We got to execute everything that we've been practicing, uh, like I said, over these past couple of months. But we we just got to we just got to go out there and play our best. Yeah, just watching them on film, they seem um, they're really a fundamentally sound team. Um, and I like seeing that in teams because it just shows, you know, players take the coaching, they buy in. Um, and something we're trying to do as well. Um, up front, they're physical. Uh, I have a lot of respect for the quarterback. He he sticks his neck out there. Um, and they've they've playmakers all over the field, so they it'll it'll be a fun matchup. Um, it's not too similar to much in the Mountain West, but they, I mean, it's it's still football, it's still X's and O's. Um, so once we dial into that, um, I'm really excited to play. Um, our guys have been doing a great job every practice. You know, staying focused. It is a bowl game and everything, so there's distractions going on, but they do a really good job staying focused and um, going really hard at practice and paying attention to the details of the game plan. This is for Coach and Lucas. What are some of the biggest challenges you see in quarterback Nathan Rourke for Ohio? Uh, he's just a very experienced player. He's, he's, um, he knows where to go with the football. He plays with a lot of confidence and poise. Um, he's seen a lot, of, a lot of defenses over his career. Um, he's an excellent runner. Um, you know, they use him in their running game as well. And so, you know, we just have to do a good job of containing him. And, and uh, you know, we can't let him just uh, be a one-man show, uh, running the ball and passing the ball. So uh, we got to do a great job of playing our responsibilities. You know, uh, Coach Solich and Coach Alvin, I mean, they have a long history of running option and speed option and all those plays from their Nebraska years. Um, and so you, you have to be accountable for him. And so, um, no, I'm, I'm really impressed with the receivers and the running backs and the O-line. I think they have a, they've done a very good job on offense. And so we're going to have to, we're going to have to play sound defense. We're going to have to contain the quarterback and, and we're going to have to score points on offense as well. So um, it's going to be a challenge and what you'd expect in a bowl game. So we're very impressed with him. Coach Norvell, you guys have an opportunity to make program history and win back-to-back -back bowl games. What would this mean for that program, this program, if you were able to? I just, uh, you know, we're we're very proud of 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 our winning tradition at Nevada, and you know, um, since 1898, Nevada's been playing football. Um, you know, we've done something this year that hasn't been done, and it really surprised me when we beat San Diego State on the road. It's the first time Nevada's ever beat a ranked team on the road. I was surprised. By that, when Chad told me that coming off the field, I, I really wasn't thinking about that at all. And then to, to find out that we have an opportunity to win back-to-back -back bowl games, which has not been done at our school, is, is it's an honor, really. It's, it's, a, it's a great opportunity. You know, we talk about it all the time. When you play college football, uh, it's all about opportunity. And, and you know, there's, there's thousands and thousands of people that would trade places with us uh, to, to have this opportunity. So we're very humbled by it. We're uh, excited about the opportunity. And, um, you know, we've respected the opportunity by preparing the right way. And so that's really, really the most important thing. But uh, we're, we're excited about that. And, and to represent that history and, and to add to it would be special. Lucas, um, you guys have, have had a month to practice with the new defense. What's it been like to practice both a new defense and to prepare for Ohio's offense? Um, 
I mean, it's re it's really just schemes. Once once you learn them, um, and everybody buys into it, it's just you know practice. And um, as far as Ohio, um, they're talented. They run you know they run their eleven and twelve personnel, um, and they have some good plays off of it. Plays we've seen in the past, um, so we have schemed about that. Um, as far as the new staff, um, everybody's bought in. You know they're. The, very similar to the last staff schematically and everything, but um, yeah, just uh, excited, uh, really excited. Uh, for the players, what would it mean uh, for you guys as seniors, you know, winning, going through this program and this Nevada grit culture to finish off your college careers with a win? Uh, hey, you about to make me uh, go in some tears a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you know? I'm like, I, 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 okay. But yeah, um, It'll mean a lot, you know, uh, just we've been through a lot, you know, uh, the same class went through the coaching changes and everything of that, that nature. But, you know, we've, we've got overcame it, overcame everything that, that we had to go through. And as coach Jay said, we've, we've been through so much adversity and it's just, it'd be an honor to, to just go out the right way, but also to, to leave our jersey in a better place, as we always say, uh, for the the younger guys, just to see, hey, just keep going, no matter what, just just keep going, and and then we got some players at home that that we missing right now, boy, House, DB, okay. Foss, man, we miss y'all guys. Uh, wish y'all was here, but hey, we got we got a lot of people to do this for community back at home that that supports us all the time, so it'll be it'll mean a lot. Yeah, I mean. It would mean a lot. Last year, you know, coming off a bull win, it was great for our program. The young guys kind of saw, like, you know, this is this is what Nevada is about. Um, we expect to go to these things. Um, and I think just to continue that this year would be huge for the program. Um, and, you know, kind of we've – that last game, you know, is a bad taste in our mouth. We're, like Kelton was saying, there's guys that aren't here um, because of it. And we miss them. We really miss them. They're, you know, tremendous players, but uh, also better teammates. And um, no, it would be it would be huge. I think I think we need this as a program um, and as a senior class as well. Coach, earlier you mentioned the um, contrasting styles between the two conferences. Can you go into a little more detail about what the what the style the contrasts are between the MAC and the Mountain West? Um, I, I think one of the strengths of our conference is that there's such a diversity of styles. I mean. You could be playing the run and shoot one week, and then you play triple option the next week at Air Force, and and um, and then there's everything in between offensively, um, and you know I the you know I've got a chance to watch all the Ohio games. The MAC is is just different. You know, it's not better or worse. It's just different. Different style of offenses. Different style of. Um, um, preparation every week um and uh probably just probably not as diverse as our league as far as different styles of offenses but um very well coached very well coached and so um and that's the way all bowl games are i mean this is my 21st bowl game um and the great thing about bowl games is you play a team from a different region that's not from your league and um they play a different conference they play different opponents different regions and so um i'm just excited uh to have a chance to play uh ohio and um you know and just you know it's it's a chance to measure yourself against a very good team from another league in another region and and you know match up our style of play against theirs so it's a great challenge this will be our last question a question for Lucas. I'm, I'm wondering how close you came, you know, if this bowl game, if you guys had been invited on December 20th game or something, would it have been that close to you playing or not playing? And did it help that this game is in January? Um, you know, I was pushing myself pretty hard in rehab to get back. Um, I was planning on playing, and if if the New Mexico Bowl would have happened, I was planning on playing in that. Um, but, yeah, it's probably going to be a little less painful now that it's on the third, but, yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.